morning. Happy Monday the 27th of April. Today's workout is tap staff. Even though I actually think the weather's about to change and I probably should have called it tap staff like two weeks ago, but never mind. Um, so today's workout is four minute rounds. So you'll work for four minutes and then you'll rest for one. So you've got four minutes to do 50 ground to overheads and then in any remaining time of the four minute window, you do as many jump squats as you can. That's the score that goes in your uh, results in Sugarwood. Okay, so the, you only count the jump squats. You get a minute's rest and then you do 50 Russian swings. That's ones that just go out to here. 50 Russian swings and then as many burpees as you can in the remaining time. One minute's rest, then 50 box jumps, jump overs, step ups, uh, whatever you have available to you. Uh, and then max ab mat sit ups, one minute's rest, and then max lunge stirs. Okay, so that's a combination of lunges and thrusters. Uh, just check that I've got this lined up, just tip you down a wee bit. Yeah, I'll do. Okay, so for the ground overhead, just depends what you've got available to you. So, something like a wee backpack, make sure everything doesn't fall out of it. Okay. Touch it off the ground between your feet, comes clo up close to your body, press out fully overhead. Okay, so keep your back flat, stick your butt out behind you as you initiate the movement, touch, press. It doesn't really matter what you use for your ground to overhead, you can pick up just about anything uh, and carry on and do that movement. So you do 50 of them, and uh, then you've got as many jump squats as you can. So that is a squat. With a jump, straight into a squat, with a jump, squat, jump, squat, jump. One minute's rest, okay? And then you do as many Russian swings as you can. Kettlebell, dumbbell, odd object. When you do your Russian swings, keep your feet flat on the floor, make sure the hinges at your hips. So your bum pushes out behind your heels as you lean over, and there's not much bend in your knees. So too much bend, about right, okay. Uh, Russian swings can obviously be done with your generic kettlebell, dumbbell. Uh, I'm looking around, I did have like a screen wash canister, that's quite good as well. You could even double up on them if they weren't heavy enough, you know, the, the jugs with the handles. Jugs. Okay. Very American of me. A couple of these, or one, depending on what kind of weight you want. And then max burpees. Be careful with the burpees, guys. There's nobody there to check on you unless you video it and show me, <laughs> which I do like. Uh, so that would be burpee. Try and do this so you can actually see me. I don't kick my bike. Oh, it's neat. <laughs> Chest to floor. <laughs> jump in or step in. Stand up, jump and clap overhead. It's close. Uh, early morning injuries. Uh, one minute rest. Then 50 max box jumps. You get the idea, I'm not going to bother digging that out. Two footed jump onto a box. If you've not got a box to jump onto, for example, you might have a sofa for you know, or a chair that you could step onto, but you're not willing to jump onto it. So then you could sub for step ups, you can use weights if you want, that's absolutely fine if you think it's too easy otherwise. Uh, 50 step ups, box jumps, jump overs, uh, broad jumps, two foot jump forwards, nice then as many ab mat sit-ups as you can. So with the ab mat sit-ups, if you've got an ab mat cool, go ahead and use it. It would just sit right in behind you at your butt there. So as your feet go together, you go all the way back, both hands touch the ground behind your head, come all the way up, touch the ground in front of your feet. It is harder without the ab mat, for sure. Uh, you could always like, roll a towel up, roll a towel up and put that in place of the ab mat. And then the last one is the lunge stirs. So for the lunge stirs, one empty one, one full one, could be water bottles filled with water, rice, nuts and bolts, stones, anything that you've got, it could be dumbbells, I know a few of you have managed to get your hands on dumbbells now. So for the lunge stir, you can hold the dumbbells here or here, but I'll show you the movement, I'll show you why it might be better to hold it here, better. <laughs> uh, you're going to go lunge, lunge, Thruster. 
lunge, lunge, thruster. So obviously if you do your lunges here, okay, you then have to bring the dumbbells up for the thruster. Totally fine as well though. So if you don't have two objects, so two dumbbells or two kettlebells, then you could do this with a odd object and you can either hold it in front of you, but preferably here, okay? So that you do your lunge, lunge, and then thruster, okay? So that's the four four minute rounds, one minute rest in between. Log your scores of the max reps only. There'll be four slots to put scores in on Sugar Wad. Get your scores in there. Good luck. See you later.